Hello everyone. So in today's video, we're gonna try a new soap. Uh, we're gonna try Razor Rock Caribbean Holiday. Now, I heard from uh, a friend of mine that this is a really good one. So I went on and bought it and I wanna try it. I'm gonna open now and just see if there's any lead. No, there's no lead. It's Ooh. It's a brownish soap, really dark. Uh, mm. Smells nice on the puck, I have to say. Uh, I don't. Uh, um, I feel like it's coconut. Hmm. We're gonna leather and, and, and find out. I'm gonna do bowl leather today, just to to, to see how it uh, whips. Uh, I'm gonna take a bit of the spoon here. Oh, the razor we will use today will be a razor rock as well. I'm just gonna take a dollop there with my cosmetic spoon so you guys can see how much I'm using. Now, there we go. I'm trying to put this standing, but it's gonna be hard, so I'm just gonna leave it open so you guys can see the lid there if it stands there we go um i'm gonna bowl leather as i was saying just throw the water there i have the bowl preheated there so there we go i'll just take the dollop press it to the bottom there guys uh, might be easier this side press it to the bottom there so you guys can see that's it. I think I took everything. No, there's still more on the spoon there. There we go. That should be enough. Now, I'm gonna just clean my hand there and the cosmetic spoon. I will leather today with a synthetic from um, the FS that I have. Frank Shaves. That's the one. I'm just gonna Put it there soaking now for a while first. You don't need to leave it for a long time, just a small bit. There we go, that should be enough. And we're gonna leather and see how how it goes. This is one of my favorite bowls because it's a ceramic one and it's really easy to handle. And uh, I got this on Amazon, I didn't know where it came from, but uh, the other day I was talking with a, a friend of mine and he has one just like this one. But uh, he came from China, uh, he told me he's um, Yaki, uh, and it's an imitation of... Uh, oh jeez, I'm getting a blank there. Another bull, but it, that it's made in metal. C Captain's Choice, that's it. That's it, Captain's Choice uh, bowl. Uh, I need more water, so I'll just put a bit more water. That's the other thing that I find with um, the synthetics because they don't they don't um, absorb that much water. You always have to put more water there. As soon as I put more water, this started leathering way more. There we go. There we go. Nice one. I still think it needs a bit more water. So I'm going to just put a bit more. The other thing I found with the Razor Rock soaps, at least the, the one I tried, they always take plenty of water. They're always on the thirsty side. Like we have loads there already, but if I keep adding, I will have more and more and more. But you can see that it, it's peaking there already. But I'm, I'm still gonna add a bit more water. I want it pretty hydrated today because I'm not gonna use a pre shave. So I wanna see how the soap performs without the, the pre shave. There we go. Nice. Plenty of leather there guys, as you guys can see, and it's proper picking. 
but um, I know for a fact I can still add more water there and I'm actually I'm gonna show you guys see I'm gonna add more water more water leather again and more leather is coming out so mm, the scent rum yeah rum I feel rum I feel coconut there's something else some kind of fruit maybe banana no banana it's not banana just loads of leather there guys as you guys can see and proper leather so I'll say we're ready I'm not gonna leather anymore otherwise we'll be here for a long time just gonna wet my face there there we go oh before I leather I was forgetting We'll use the razor rocket just. I didn't load the blade yet because I'm gonna try a new blade today as well. I'm gonna try Beak uh, Chrome Platinum. Uh, this is made in Greece. Now I don't know how it performs at all, so we'll find out. Uh, there we go. Opening it up, I'm gonna show you the blade. Comes in this orangey. Wrap, that's the blade. Peak chrome, peak chrome platinum. There we go. Just put up the blade there, close it. We're gonna go on the aggressive because I know this only has three levels, guys, um, and they're all pretty mild. I wouldn't call them like the aggressive one, I wouldn't call them aggressive at all. It's kind of on the medium kind of aggressiveness. Then you can go to the medium there, which in the middle there, and then you can go all the way down. It's very mild uh, in terms of uh, that. Okay, so there we go. Now we can leather back to the bowl there. And we're gonna leather. The, the leather is still kind of brownish as well. It's not completely white. I'm trying to see Oh, hold on. Rum is definitely there. Coconut, I feel. I would say pineapple. But no, passion fruit is a bit more sweeter. Um, yeah, I would say pineapple. I was gonna say banana there. But, um, don't know. That's my feeling at the moment. Rum and coconut, that's for sure. But there's some fruit there as well. It's actually really nice. It's really pleasant. Uh, it's not very intensive in terms of the, the scent itself, but um, but it's very pleasant. I would say level-wise would be kind of on a medium. Um, it's not a very intense scent. It's very, very pleasant. But it's not m a mild scent. It's not... A subdued scent at all. Creaminess wise, nice. Just like it's it's razor rock. They never did it wrong in terms of the soap. At least the ones I've tried so far. Really, really nice. Really creamy. Let's see how it protects now. There we go. Razor. So we have it on the more aggressive level of the razor rock adjust uh, it's locked yeah so here we go first pass with the growth yeah it's still kind of on a mildish mildish uh, it's not really i don't find it really aggressive but it's like taking all the stubble Hmm, kind of a bit of freshness there as well, as soon as I took the stubble. So, I'd say proper for warm days as well. Because it kind of can, not a, not a really, really fresh, kind of like a, a mental kind of um, fresh. But it, you, you felt it there, a bit of freshness there. Now when I took the stubble. 
Find it funny, this leather is actually really brownish. It's not just the soap. You have some soaps that are brown, but as soon as you leather, they become cotton on the white side. This leather, no. This leather is proper brown, like. It's on a, a cream, kind of coffee, latte, kind of that way, you know? Nice. I have to say, this razor, really smooth. This razor, no, the um, blade, sorry. First use, really, really smooth. With growth. I'm just off the shower, which helps with them. Um, someone was asking me about how to avoid bumps and stuff. I'll do a, pro a proper video of it, but I can let, let you know if you're watching, one of the main things is the preparation before you start shaving. So, like, if you don't have time to take a shower, Put a proper pre-shave, warm up with a towel, leave it soak for a bit, that does help a lot. And even when you're not shaving, you can always use creams and stuff. that do avoid, that help a lot of your, your skin and avoid bumps and stuff. And I know what I'm talking about, I still have loads of scars here from when I used to shave with cartridge razors, and I, I, which I hated it with a vengeance, I always avoided shaving, which now I love, which is funny. But definitely, pre-shave preparations are very important. And not, it's not just the shave itself. There we go. First pass is done. Mm, still plenty of sleepless there. Yeah. Gonna get ready for that second pass. There we go. Ready for second pass. The scent that I got now when I was um, just getting ready for the, the second pass kind of reminds me of a cocktail scent. See so guys, it's still kind of on the creamy, um, like coffee, latte color kind of that way. You know? And it's really, really creamy, I have to say. Really, really creamy. It's funny, when I face leather, like in videos anyway, in which I'm always kind of hurrying it, um, I feel that I don't have as much time when I face leather, although I prefer face leather, but I always feel that I, I don't have much time to build a proper leather, because I don't want the videos to be like half an hour, 40 minutes, stuff like that. Um, so I'm always kind of trying to hurry up, which you shouldn't if you're actually proper lettering. Like when I do my face, when I do my head in the shower, for example, I always take my time. I build a proper leather in the, in the head, which is lovely, just lovely. And that's one of the things you should enjoy is building the leather and learning about it because almost every soap is kind of a bit different when you're doing it. Oh, it's a really nice scent, like, and it's actually, I feel kind of like, um, you know when you put cream and it starts sinking into the skin, that's what I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I'm gonna go to the middle now, guys, just middle there, there we go, second pass across, I'm gonna try to do as normal. Two pass shave with a bit of a buff on the cheeks, and we'll see how it goes. Man, 
it's definitely really pleasant this scent. And uh, although it's kind of a um, summery scent, it's definitely holiday summery scent. I would say you can use this even during the winter. It's not that uh, summery that will... Um, I don't know how to explain that. You know those scents that you, don't, you never want to use in the, in the winter? No, this one is one that you definitely would kind of bring you memories of summer or something like, you know? Without making you feel like you're cold. Kind of that way. It's actually really pleasant. And it doesn't dissipate, the scent doesn't go away. Which I'm finding really nice. It's kind of always heating your nose there. Some soaps you, um, as soon as you put it on your face after a while, this, your nose kind of gets used to it and you're, you, you don't feel the, um, the scent of the nose. What I'm finding with this one is that it keeps coming. My face now. Yeah, it just keeps coming, the scent, which is lovely. Buff upwards, sweet. Yeah, and you can buff away easy enough as well with this soap, so not a bother with it. Mm, yeah, just keeps heating and heating. Wow, nice. Now, guys, I had uh, a few people asking me for uh, other comparison videos, which I will do in the next shaves, so the next few shaves will be about answering questions to people that to subs that ask me to do certain videos or ask me certain questions, so I will address all of them in the next few videos, and if you want comment give your advice as well if you want, or ask for something that I can do and I'll try. Oh, I need myself there, guys. I didn't even feel it. Yeah, this this ra raisin of the blade, it's actually proper sharp. But it's smooth. It's not one of those milder razors, I don't feel like. And this soap is really slick, guys. But uh, the main thing on this soap for me at the moment is the scent. The scent is just not going away, it just keeps hitting you. Just lovely. I think I should go up. I th I'm, I'm feeling that it's a bit too mild for me at the moment. And I'm gonna have to go through it again. So I'm gonna go back to a higher level there, guys. Yeah, definitely. Now it's picking up and you can actually hear it more. Yeah, even though I can buff, I'm gonna put a bit more there. And do it again. Yeah, it's definitely a really mild, although they call it a just, I find that this razor is very mild. Very mild razor. Yeah, see, as soon as I put the aggressiveness, it is picking up more the stubble there. There we go. That's better. Sweet. Nice. I feel better now. Yeah, definitely. I need to go on the more aggressive, which is still kind of on the mild side, guys. So, the good thing, you have no overhanging. So, lovely. Jeez, I really need myself there, guys. Hmm. But it's not stinging, which is weird. There we go.
How many minutes? Cheese twenty. There we go. We're gonna get ready for the alum. I'm just gonna check and see if everything is okay. Okay. I'm gonna just pat my face there. Still leave a bit of moisture, not completely dry. I'll go into my alum stick by Omega. Trueno, I hope you'll be happy with this one now. No feedback on the cheeks yet. Ooh, ooh, yeah, neck area definitely loads of feedback there. Yeah, I had a few mix. So doesn't surprise. I have the tap there. Yeah. Plenty of feedback on my neck for the change. Bit more of cold water. See? I got a few mix. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Feedback on the mustache area as well. Chin area, not fine. It's fine. There we go. Now, I'm gonna let it dry for a while. I normally, by the way, I normally like to do the alum until the stinginess kind of goes away. And then I let it dry for a while. That's what I find that it's more helpful for me. And now while it dries, I'm gonna wash up all the stuff. And just to show you that I still have loads of leather there on the bowl. And if I put some more water, I could still build, and I show you there, I could still build more. I could do another three passes easily enough with this one. And you saw how much I put on the, on the bowl. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I love this scent. This scent is really nice. So I'm gonna wash my stuff, let the gallon dry, and I'll see you for the post shave. See you in a bit. We're back. So we're gonna just take the alum, which is still there, kind of drying. There we go. I'll just pat it. I still like to leave a bit of moisture there. It's always good. And we're going into the post shave. Caribbean holiday, razor rock. Hopefully it's the same as the, the soap or more intense. Yeah, it's exactly the same. There's a bit of a stopper there. So I'll show you guys there. Yeah. Mmm, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's exactly, yeah, rum, rum. Oh my God, rum. Rum and coconut, nice. Yeah, I have to tell thanks to my friend that advised me on this one. It's definitely a really pleasant scent. I'm still having a bit of uh, feedback here on the bottom. Mmm, nice. Wow. Yeah, it has menthol, so it's freshening it up there. And I feel it. Nice. I'll put a bit more. I always like to put two, three times. Like, sink in. There we go. That's it. Hmm. And the other thing I have to say, when I was washing my bowl, as soon as the water hit the, the soap again, it just filled up the, the room with the same scent. And it's not an intense scent, like, but it's really, really pleasant. And it, it fills up the room. So that's it. Let's recap the shave today. We tried for the first, oh, by the way, someone asked me why I don't do research and I'm gonna say it again. Uh, I don't do research on the first try on the soaps. Uh, the following times I use the soap, then I'll do the research and I'll talk about it. But on the first try like today, I prefer to go on my feelings. That's it. Uh, so today we, we try for the first time the Caribbean Holiday by Razor Rock. A really, really pleasant scent. I feel that it's rum. I feel that it's coconut. There's some fruits there. I, at first thought I thought was banana. Now, for example, I feel more like on the pineapple side, kind of that way. 
So I don't know exactly, as I said, following shapes I do with it, I'll tell you exactly which notes they are. Uh, we use the uh, Razor Rock as well, and I use this just because Razor Rock. Uh, I don't use this often, because I find it very mild, um, and, and sometimes I prefer a bit of a, a, a blade feel there, so you, I know exactly what I'm feeling. That's the reason I don't use this one, but it's a very mild razor. And even on the level of the aggressiveness is kind of on the medium. When you go to the mid middle there, it's kind of Edwin Jaggerish kind of that way. When you lower it down, you barely feel the blade at all. So it's always kind of on a mildish side, no matter what adjustments you make. Uh, but it's a nice one, you know. Butterfly locks in there, nice. And it's a cheap one as well. I think it's about it's less than twenty euros anyway. Uh, we tried the big chrome platinum for the first time. I found it really sharp and smooth. At least this first uh, um, time. I don't know on the second time how it's gonna be. If it's gonna be like a treat carbon which you can only use once. Uh, so we'll find out on the next time I'll try this one. Uh, to leather it up, I'll use my, I used my ceramic bowl by, hold on, I have it there. My ceramic bowl that I found out that it's by um, Yaki. And uh, my front shaves synthetic knot. Um, it's a brown synthetic knot. I don't know exactly. Uh, I couldn't find any links to this uh, shave and I got this on a mystery box so I can't tell you exactly what it is. Uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this shave. For me it was actually, I, I'm still feeling this scent and uh, this scent for me is the, the top of this shave I have to say. And uh, there's a, a lot of freshness there now but I still have a bit of feedback on the bottom there. So I'll say I'll have to later on in about an hour or two put some cream just to suit it up a bit, because I got a bit of a, today, hmm, and you guys can see I still have a bit of a nick there that I have to take care of. So today on the bottom here, today was not the greatest, not bad, but not the greatest. But this scent, hmm, lovely, lovely. That's it for me now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to put a, a like on it. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye. Ciao.